Okay, moving on. What's rest? We're now going to talk about oxidation. What's rest? Oxidation, free radicals. Free radicals uh, are, are chemicals with unpaired um, electrons. Remember back in your chemistry days, there's all these circuits of uh, orbits of electrons rotating around the, the atom. And when I have an unpaired uh, or a lone electron, what happens to that molecule or that atom? It's unstable. It's looking to reduce its energy state by acquiring or stealing or whatever an, an electron to make it more stable. And so a free radical is out there stealing electrons from neighbor molecules and we just simply in the, in the body we're going to call it biological resting because that's what oxidation is. These are all the diseases. You know, it's not, not a list that we're going to read and study but it's just like just to look at that it's like there's a lot of diseases associated with oxidative stress so we should probably look at this with a different eye and say, hmm, what, what's going on here? Basically, there's four different ways that oxidation damages us. One is that it damages the phospholipids in the cell membranes, and so I can damage or break down the cell membrane of a cell. Um, I can also damage the DNA. Um, I can also interfere with the sodium, potassium, and the ATP ion channels associated with the energy production. So it can destroy my ability to have energy or to have intra or uh, tissue energy. I mean, I can also denature proteins and cause them to change their shape and now they don't function the way they were supposed to be or the way they were built. That's what, I, that's what biologic rusting does is by creating these unstable uh, things. It has a useful role in my immune system because one of the ways that uh, we, that our uh, polymorphonuclear sites and macrophages defend ourselves is that they use peroxides that are generated within the cell uh, as very uh, oxidizing, very high oxidizing agents to kill bacteria. And so the question becomes, well, what happens when that gets out of control, when there's uncontrolled production of that, and how does that work? And so, and for example, with periodontal disease and oxidation, there's an impairment in antioxidant enzyme activity involved with the respiratory burst and the phagocytosis resulted in reduced bactericidal ability of our immune cells. The question is, is that what you want, is a reduced ability? If I can't, if I can't uh, have the right levels of those oxidants and antioxidants working together, then my immune system cells can't work really well to help defend me against the bad guys. And so we get this balance. We have oxidation on the one side and we have reduction on the other side. This is the you know, the REOX thing that we all learned in chemistry with the arrow, the double arrow pointing each way. It's either oxygenation or it's reduction, or uh, one way or the other. And controlling this obviously has a lot of uh, import in terms of the development or the genetic expression and the phenotype expression of diseases as they occur. So we say, well, what is, I know what oxidation is. It's the rusting, it's the unstable electron. What is, what is reduction? And that is the acquiring of an electron by, by, via a donor who gives up their electron, has a spare one to give away, so that I can now reduce the oxidized or radical molecule. And it stops this process where one, it's a chain reaction when I'm oxidizing because if I steal an electron and now there's another one that's deficient, it wants to steal one and it's just, it just keeps going and it, it becomes an oxidative storm. Well, we want to quench the storm with, with uh, reduction.